Hey, it's Matt, the old Florida boy. Well, it's Canteen Cup Tuesday, but it's it's still windy and rainy outside. And, you know, two days ago on Sunday, we got 10 and a half inches of rain. It rained all day. And where I was going to go is now underwater. So uh, everybody knows that I live in Central Florida, and we just got a big hurricane. And I was running my generator through the hurricane. And I was running extension cords throughout the house, and it really wasn't a very safe or smart situation. So I'm going to take you through what I did to build a generator backfeed cord. Now, before anybody gets on my ass and comments, oh, that's a suicide cord. You're going to kill yourself. What if this and what if that? Please know that, I know, A, I know how electrical power works, and I know that you're supposed to have the main off and everything else if you're going to backfeed your generator. B, I do not have any kids in the house that are going to pull the plug out. C, I do not have any pets that are going to touch the cord or pull the plug out. D, my wife has sworn uh, to, to not touch anything that I deal with. So, I'm the only one who's going to have charge of all the electrical power and she knows uh, to not touch it. So, there's there's very little that can go wrong in this other than building it wrong and I didn't build it wrong so let me take you over and show you my generator and show you how I built my back feed cord that's gonna power three most important circuits in my house so stay with me okay so here's the business end of my generator here's what I got to work with you can clearly see 3550 watts over there uh, I got four uh, duplex outlets and one twist lock uh, you can clearly see that they are four 20 amp 120 volt uh, outlets and you can clearly see that they, that they are the 20 amp plugs you can also clearly see that this one is a 120 240 20 amp out now what I did in a hurricane is I was running three extension cords I was running my refrigerator off of one my TV and fans off of another one and a window unit AC back in my bedroom so that I could sleep off of a third one. It's kind of a pain in the ass, you know, running all the extension cords and everything else. And, you know, so, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to build what they call a suicide cord. And I'm not going to kill myself using a suicide cord. But what I did is I got a double male end cord. And I got a 20 amp plug coming out of here. And I got 12 gauge wire, which is rated for 20 amps. And I had another male end, which is going to go into a receptacle in the house that I'm going to show you in a minute. Now, what I could do is I could put one of these guys in there, okay? And this is a 20 amp, 120, 250 out, okay? And I could put that sucker right in here. Uh, I, I could put the cable in there, all right? Could hook it to the cable, plug it in, twist it. Now I can have 120, 240 out, and I could run that to the dryer socket. Uh, I don't really want to have to splice wires and everything else, but and I want to have a shorter run as possible. So I could also run this to the 120. Uh, if anybody knows if I can run this, the, the 120, 240 plug out to a regular 120, 20 amp circuit without hurting it, I would rather do it this way, but I'm going to show you what I'm doing anyway. Uh, so I'm going to go in and show you the plugs now. All right, I thought I would quickly take you outdoors where the generator is going to go. And the generator is going to go outdoors because, look man, I'm outdoors, you know. All right, here we go. I got a hole in the wall that this uh, old well pipe used to go into, and it, it goes all the way through. So what I did is I got myself a hunk of big, fat 12-gauge extension cord, and this is 12-gauge. And look at there. There's a 20 amp male end on it. And this is going to come down when my generator is sitting here outdoors, not indoors. And the exhaust is pointed away from my house. Okay. The generator is going to be here. This 20 amp male end is going to go in one of those 20 amp receptacles. Okay. My power is going to come up. It's going to go through this wire. And it's going to go indoors. So... I'm going to take you in dolls now. All right, so now we're in dolls, you know. Uh, here's the hole in the wall where my cable comes through. And you're going to see that I built myself a cable with another 20 amp 
male end on it. And it is clearly 20 amps, okay? And what this sucker is going to do, it's going to come over and it's going to plug into this 20 amp outlet, okay? Now, before anybody says, oh, you're running other stuff and everything else, the outlet used to have this, which is a 15 amp duplex outlet on it. I changed it to 20. This is my freezer, which is right here, okay? In the event of a power outlet and I need to run a generator, this is going to be unplugged. Now, this outlet is a dedicated circuit. There is nothing else on this entire circuit. It goes up through the attic, straight back to my main panel, okay? Well, there's my, there's my main panel with my main breaker. Pow! That baby goes off. Uh, you know, the AC goes off. And then this power goes right back to my main, my, my sub panel inside. And like I said, this is a dedicated circuit. It's the only thing on that circuit. So, now I'm going to take you in and show you my breaker panel. Yeah. Okay, so here's what we got on the breaker panel. Uh, I don't know if I need that light. Top one is the main. It's going to stay on. Everything else goes off. And you can see that I clearly have these marked. This one right here that's marked generator, that's the main dedicated circuit from that other outlet. There's nothing else on here. So this is the only one that's going to stay on. Everything else goes off. I start up my generator. You know, I, I plug it in first. Then I start up the generator with the main off, of course. Now, uh, this is bringing my generator power in. This is bringing 120 uh, and 20 amps. So, here's the circuit that my refrigerator's on. I can throw that, uh, and my refrigerator comes back on. I can throw this breaker back on. My bedroom comes back on, and I can throw my living room uh, breaker on and have my lights and my TV. So, there you go. There's my method. That's what I'm going to do. Some of you may think I'm an idiot or I'm going to kill myself, but I think this is the safest way that I could think of to do it. Okay, that was just a little uh, overview of how I'm going to do it the next time I have a hurricane and a power outage. Um, uh, like I said, it's, it's all 20 amps. It's 20 amps coming out of the generator. It's 20 amps going into a 20 amp plug, going through a 10 foot 20 amp extension cord going into another 20 amp male end, going into a 20 amp duplex receptacle that is on a dedicated circuit, going back to my sub panel, going through a 20 amp breaker, uh, and it's powering other 20 amp breakers. I don't care about powering anything 240. I don't care about using my stove, my microwave, my hot water heater. I don't care about using my air conditioner. I care about my lights and my TV and my refrigerator having enough power to run a window AC you know and, and that's all that I can hope to, to power on that generator is you know two maybe three circuits in the house and believe me that's all I want to power that's all I was powering with extension cords and that's all I want to power with this method before anybody leaves terrible comments on you're gonna kill yourself you're gonna kill your dog you're gonna kill your kids you're gonna kill your wife I want to take you back again to where I don't have any kids there's nobody going to touch that cord except for me. I don't have any pets. There's nobody that's going to touch that cord except for me. My wife has sworn to God that she won't touch that cable for any means. And I took it back and explained it to her. And she's good with it. I'm the only one that's going to do it. And I know how to do it. And I know how to run the breakers properly. So, I ran a test. And, you know, I, I, I turned off my AC and I turned off my AC breakers and I flipped my main, simulated a power outage, plugged in my things, started up my generator, flipped on that one generator breaker and slowly brought each of those two or three other circuits online and it worked absolutely perfectly. My whole house is wired with 12 gauge wire. I'm not going to burn it up. All I'm putting through is 20 amps. So if anybody knows whether I can use this twist lock in place of the regular 20 amp male end. You know, this is a four conductor. Uh, the wire is a three conductor. So, and this has two hots. 
the uh, 20 amp male end has one hot. So if I if I can use this uh, and it'll only put 120 in, I'd rather use this because you know I can only use you know I only have to use one plug. Uh, I would have to make a jumper from one hot to the other hot, I believe. So if anybody knows whether I can use this and it would be safer, obviously, than just a regular three prong 20 amp male end, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. Uh, once again, you're going to see uh, a couple other suggested videos on this side. You're going to see my subscription uh, bar uh, up in the upper right hand corner. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. Please leave a comment. I answer all comments. Uh, and once again, this is Matt from Florida Boy Survival saying, I wish I could be out on the trail, but I'm here playing with electricity. I'll <laughs> see you on the trail.